I find it hard to believe, but 70 years is a long, long time. And the event itself, the College World Series in 1952, it has remained in these 70 years one of my great memories. And I can honestly say, hardly a week goes by that I don't think back to something that happened or just the event itself. That that, that College World Series was so meaningful to me in my life that uh, I put it right up there at the top. Coach Barry, who was a man of very few words, at one of our late practices says, oh yeah, uh, team, we're, we're going out to Omaha to compete in the, in, in the uh, national uh, NCAA tournament. And we really didn't know much about it the, other than it was in Omaha, Nebraska. We didn't know where Omaha, Nebraska was. Back then, we, we only traveled out to Omaha with 15 players. And that was the three starters, Jim O'Neill, Jackie Londrigan and myself, every pitcher that pitched out there pitched a complete game. No, no relief pitching, no pinch hitters, no pinch runners. 11 players played every seven games in six days. And that's unheard of. Jim O'Neill started it off. And then, uh, and then Jackie Londrigan. Jackie Londrigan pitched the second game and it was on a Friday, and it was the best pitch game of the whole series. He lost a one to nothing game to Missouri. And we're back again on a Monday night, and it's my turn to pitch again. Now, I've only had one day's rest, so I'm, I, I don't know what, I'm looking down myself, I, I don't know if I'm gonna pitch nine innings or what's, what's gonna happen here. <laughs> We won seven to three over Missouri, the team that had beaten us earlier, one to nothing. Now we just have one game left, final game of the uh, College World Series against Missouri. This is the third time that we played Missouri. Jim O'Neill finished the ball game, won his third game, was voted the most valuable player, but rightfully so. No other New England team has ever even come close Jim O'Neill's daughters said to us that their father talked more about the NCAA baseball tournament than anything they've ever seen. It was the, the best event of his life, he says. Expressed his absolute delight when he talked about it, when he thought about it, and what it meant to him in his life. And that basically became the theme that I found is when I had to, as athletic director, when I started having these reunions, that the players that came back uh, were so taken up with the memories that they had from the trip to Omaha. When we get back after the, after the tournament was over, presented each player with a, a ring uh, that I still have today, 70 years later. The mayor of the city of Somerville, where I grew up, said, Ronnie, we wanna uh, see you up here at City Hall. So what they do is they have a parade for me and they're having a parade and my mother looks at me and she says, Ronnie, she says, what are we here for? <laughs> and it was her innocence. She had no idea. She had no idea why. She had never seen me play a baseball game. She had no idea why all these people came in the high school and the, call and the mayor of the city. And I said, well, I says, we just won a national championship. And she said, oh, it was times like that that I said, this is, it's, it's all worth it. And the memories people have of the events that took place out in Omaha have made it just a, a memory that I, I'll always have.